Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Dr. Josh Jagoda, and today we're going to cover the release of the IT band. Now, the first thing we need to know is where is the IT band and what it really does and, and the location of it before we can start rolling out. So, first, the IT band is a dense connective tissue that allies from the hip area and it passes down the lateral thigh and into or crossing the knee joint. And it's really important because a lot of people have what they call IT band syndrome. Uh, you see this common in runners and cyclists who constantly have tight hips or have this IT band kind of knocked past the knee and, and people present with lateral knee pain. But uh, what I see in many across many sports is a lot of people like to foam roll this out and it's not a bad option, but you may not be getting your best bang to, for your buck. So today we're going to cover how to properly release it and some tips and tricks you can do to really get in there and make it a little bit more effective. So. Uh, if I demonstrate first, the more traditional release that people do is they'll put their foam roller on their side here, just like that, and they'll kind of come across the IT band, just like this. Now, if you can see a little bit better from this angle, people will come across right here, just like that, and they'll be finding that tender spot. And what you'll be doing is you'll really be mashing this connective tissue from here into the quad or into the bone of the femur there and while that's not entirely the most comfortable um, uh, option for you it's it certainly is one but there is a better bang for your buck and that comes in the form of the TFL the tensor fascia lata and that muscle is located right here so what you'll first do is if you'll take your hip bone you'll touch your hip bone here and you'll go about two to three fingers back and about two to three fingers down. And typically on most individuals, you'll find a little bit of a tender point. Specifically, if you're suffering from IT band syndrome, you'll find that this tight, this muscle is really, really tight and tense. So the function of the tensor fascia lata is to tense the fascia or tense the connective tissue. So if you take this muscle and you tense it, what it will do is it will pull the IT band superiorly and that will bring it upwards, okay? And so what you wanna do is focus on the attachment of the muscle more so than compressing the actual tent, uh, the actual fascia or the IT band. So what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna get in there. Now, you can go back in with your foam roller and roll out that TFL right up in here and that's, and that's an option. But what I, if you don't have one of these foam rollers that have knobs, it may be a little bit more difficult. So what I'll tell my patients to do is to grab a small tennis ball like this one and, or, or just a regular tennis ball or even a lacrosse ball. Again, you, what you'll do is you go take that hip bone, that bony part right here, you go about two to three fingers back and about two to three fingers down. You'll put it here and then you'll lay onto the ball just like that. And then you can kind of roll back and forth right here, okay? So as you roll back and forth, you'll feel that tight spot, and then you, what you can start doing is re bringing the leg up and the leg back a little bit, and up and back, rather than rolling forward and back. Because again, you gotta remember that this is a really, uh, not a huge muscle, so it's kind of small, so if you slip right off of it by rolling off of it, you may put some pressure onto the, onto the uh, bone here, and that's something you don't wanna do. You certainly can move around on it, but again, your best method would be to you find that spot first and move the leg for a few repetitions before you start moving your hips and your body around. And that'll be a great way to release the TFL. Again, the IT band syndrome is something that's commonly rolled out and it may not be the best um, option for you to, if you're suffering from IT band syndrome. So my, my, my idea or what I tell my patients again is to find the TFL, which is the muscle that contracts the IT band, attack that and that'll give you your best bang for your buck. I hope this serves you well. I'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by.